back to Fisher Hicks. Today I want to talk about um, preventative maintenance. Now, um, we all make mistakes, and uh, today I just learned one on my own. Um, this is the float valve that controls the auto top off to the, uh, the 125. So what happened is that the, I was noticing that the auto top off wasn't turning off, and um, so I, you know, I get a little suspicious of that. Um, I come into here, and then all of a sudden the apex alarm starts going off. Now the reason why it went off, or two reasons actually, is um, I have a float switch behind the protein skimmer here. That uh, so when the water level gets too high, it automatically turns off the protein skimmer. But it also sends a audible alarm through the apex, which tells me, hey, the water level in the sump is too high. So that alarm went off, and then also my salinity probe alarm went off as well because it fluctuated um, uh, too many points. Uh, you know, basically the water got uh, fresher, so um, it sent me alarm for that. Now what happened was the uh, bacteria film that, that I've been seeing on many things, um, including a dead snail, was uh, lodged in here, which was preventing it from fully going up. Okay. And uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to soak this in some vinegar, and I'm going to brush it out, and then uh, I'll mount it back into the sump. But unfortunately, I'm going to wait for uh, this water to evaporate over the next couple of days or so, so I won't be using the skimmer for right now. Um, a lot of people just take the water out and, um, you know, then keep the skimmer going, but I don't feel like messing with the, the uh, salinity that much. It's bad enough that it already the alarm already went off, so... Uh, there's no reason to take water out and then have to add salt and all that stuff. So I'm just going to let it evaporate on its own for the next uh, next day or so. And once it gets down to a certain point, the, uh, the skimmer will kick back on as normal and things will keep going. But uh, yeah, just a little FYI on that, guys. You make sure you clean your auto top off uh, flow switches because they are a mechanical uh, device and they will fail. Uh, this is the second time this has happened in the past couple of years. So, um, you can also put an extra flow switch that turns off the auto top off, which I will be, um, I will be basically making the one that control that is, uh, connected to the skimmer also turn off the auto top off as well. So I'm going to reprogram that in the apex through the, through the uh, breakout box and then that will turn off the auto top off in the future. So this won't happen again. So yeah, that's it guys. Um, hopefully this is helpful and, uh, make sure you clean your stuff. Your, uh, your, uh fish and corals uh, depend on this little flow switch to survive. It's kind of crazy, but it is what it is. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Later.